However, you may ask, what suggestions do I recommend for course developers when using these strategies? There are several suggestions I recommend. Let us explore them together. First, the course materials such as readings, audios, and videos should be uploaded before class, and this could prove beneficial in the delivery of content. Students get familiar with the content before class. To engage students, small group discussions, guest speakers, case studies, videos, lectures, critical thinking activities could be used. Then concept mapping, journals, rubric-based feedback could scaffold knowledge. Then for designing a course, the ADI model could be utilized. Importantly, and analysis of exams from the previous semester could identify difficult concepts to create more detailed learning goals. Then, surveys could be used to perform a needs assessment. These are critical to analyze the course design. Furthermore, reflecting on the learning modalities, podcasts or voice recorded lectures could help auditory learners. Videos with closed captionings could be assigned. Moreover, audio tapes, lectures, or books could aid audio learners. Then, YouTube videos, lectures with images and graphs, handouts with hyperlinks to outside dictionaries or websites explaining vocabulary, and graphic organizers could aid visual learners. Enlarged font size and color changes, bold italics and other font styles to different texts could help students visualize important concepts. Then role plays or props, mind maps or concept maps are essential. Kinesthetic learners would benefit from performing student-centered interactive lab activities or websites. However, Two versions of the concepts should be created, a text only and a video demo version with closed captions. Remember, if videos are implemented, it should complete a learning outcome successfully. Moreover, if lectures or videos are very long, it is recommended that they be segmented into smaller chunks. Then, students should write a small review after studying the clip. Furthermore, taking a quiz or completing mind maps ensured students are prepared for class. Additionally, a long video recorded lecture session should have discussions, self-check quizzes within that lecture. However, a short text could outline the key aspects of the topic discussed in the module at hand. Hypermedia sources including video clips, podcasts, and PowerPoint presentations could be utilized to complete objectives of the lesson. Don't forget, a course guide should be introduced to assist students with online learning. It should consist of the topic, assessment, and resource pages. The resources should include videos, graphics, and mini-podcasts. Then, Sending email reminders of deadlines or upcoming tasks, providing virtual office hours for constant assistance or feedback, and encouraging anonymous surveys to address issues identified in the course should always be utilized. Importantly, students should select their preferred method of responding to assignments, then a detailed rubric should be provided. Students' autonomy for task submission demonstrates self-regulation. Then, self and peer assessments improve team collaboration, critical thinking, and learning. Students' revision of the course to find gaps or identify confusing areas could prove essential. Students' feedback lead to instructional changes that could benefit them. Then, more Web 2.0 activities such as flashcards, completion quizzes, or practice exercises done repeatedly 
or weekly provide students flexibility and confidence in the course content. Moreover, if students fail to grasp content based on these weekly activities, end of unit wrap up readings on those concepts could be assigned. Finally, collaboration with a critical friend could lead to constant program improvements. In conclusion, the UDL framework allows teachers to create a positive classroom environment that promotes inclusivity, accessibility, and genuine interaction of its students. However, thoughtful planning is required. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.